This is a cup of jasmine rice that I just, well, I didn't drain it very well. But anyways, I am adding it to my pot. I am following the package directions and adding a cup and a half of water. However, I am not going to be cooking it for the entire time because we are going to be adding it into the stuffed pepper mixture. So the package calls for this to cook for 20 minutes. I'm probably only going to do about eight or 10. And if there's still a lot of water, I will just strain it out again. It's not a big deal. I just need to bring this up to a boil. Like I said, this is jasmine rice. I'm using it because this is my favorite rice lately. Don't know what you guys think, but if you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend it. Okay, I'm just getting some onion and garlic chopped up. This onion doesn't look great. I'm just gonna cut that part out. I'm going to add in this smaller onion, just because I like a lot of onion. call that good. I may have overloaded this. We'll see. To my bowl, I'm adding ground beef. And I'm also adding some sausage. I'm going to take this out of the casing though, obviously. This is just a mild Italian sausage. Sometimes I put hot. I'm adding in three links of sausage. I'm gonna wash my hands. Now I'm just going in with some salt. Pepper. I'm going to add some thyme. Some oregano. And some red pepper flakes. If I was using spicy sausage in here, I wouldn't probably do that. Now I'm adding in all of the onions and garlic. And next I'm going in with a heaping cup of the rice that we par cooked. I did cook way more rice than I needed. And then next I am going to add some tomato soup. Not the whole can, maybe half of the can. We will be using more of this shortly. Now I just want to get this combined. I really need to just get in here with my hands a little bit more. Look away if this bothers you. Okay, that is looking great. Let's stuff the peppers and we will be on our way. So normally I would cut the tops off of these and scoop everything out and then stuff the pepper, the entire pepper just like this. I'm going to do it differently today and cut each pepper in half. I'll show you. So that I will have half peppers instead of the whole pepper stuff, we will have two pieces. I feel like there's a better way to do this. Let me experiment. Let me try this. Okay. 
this method actually works out better because then the whole edge isn't cut off and it, I think it'll hold the meat mixture better. So I am going to go with this method, learning as I go. I already washed all the peppers, but I'm rinsing them because seeds and stuff are getting in here. Yeah, that's much better. It's more of a cup. I'm also making a lot of these today so that my husband can bring them for lunches this week. Maybe I should have done two pounds of ground beef. Hopefully I have enough of the filling to stuff all of these. We shall see. Worst comes to worst, I have extra peppers and I can just do something else with them. I use a lot of peppers in cooking and I enjoy eating them. Last one. Okay, I've got my roasting pan. I think these ones where I cut the side off, maybe I'll just kind of position them up against the edge of the pan. I don't know. I don't even know if that really matters. See how these all, all fit in here. We're just gonna call that good. I like using red and yellow peppers for this recipe because I really like the flavor of them and I think the green are just a little too bitey in my opinion. But I think this also would be fun if you are a Kansas City Chiefs fan and you wanted to make something fun for the Super Bowl, these would be great. I live in Detroit and, well, I don't live in Detroit, but I live in the Detroit area. And it is the day after our loss against the 49ers and we are in deep, deep mourning around here. So it took a lot for me to say that about the Kansas City Chiefs, but I just think this would be really fun for you Kansas City Chiefs fans. I have 12 pieces. Well, I'm just gonna go for it. If we don't have enough, we don't have enough. If you are a football fan, I would love to hear from you. And especially if your team is going to the Super Bowl, what you think. And did you watch the Lions game yesterday? I went out today, I cannot tell you how freaking quiet it is here. It is so sad. And it's gloomy as all get out. It's super cloudy, so it's just so depressing. But we absolutely love Dan Campbell and the Lions. So no fair weather fans around here. I think if I play my cards right here, I'm gonna have just enough filling I might even have a little extra to go around and fill them up even more. How perfect is that? So keep this in mind. I used a pound of ground beef, three sausage links that I took out of the casing, one cup of rice, and a bunch of onions and garlic. And I used six good size bell peppers. And that worked out perfectly. This is how much I have left over. So I'm just going to go in and just stuff in more of the meat mixture. Okay, look at that. Wash my hands again for the hundredth time. Okay, I took the half can of soup that we had remaining, plus I'm going to add another can into here. I'm just adding a little bit of milk, just to thin this out a little bit. Hopefully not make a mess everywhere. You could add water too, it doesn't have to be milk. And just for reference, this is a two cup measuring cup that is probably way over the two cup line, I don't know. But you get the idea. Okay, that's good. I just basically wanna thin it out a little bit like this, just so I can pour it nicely over our stuffed peppers. And now I'm just going to pour this over the stuffed peppers. And then any remaining, I'm just kind of go in between a little bit. Okay. 
I am just going to get this covered and bake these at 350 for an hour. And then I might sprinkle some cheese on top at the end. I haven't decided yet, but we'll be back. To go with the stuffed peppers, I am just going to make some really easy, really simple, creamy mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to add the other half of the butter on top. I'm going in with some salt. Black pepper. I have some warmed half and half. You could use milk. I just don't have a ton of milk left, so I used half and half. And then I decided not to put cheese on the stuffed peppers and instead add cheese into the potatoes. I have Colby Jack and Parmesan. And these are just going to make the most beautiful, creamy potatoes. If necessary, I can add more milk or cream, but I think this is going to be just right. If you want to know the secret to making a foolproof mashed potato, it is in that ricer that you saw me squishing the potatoes in. That is the secret to the most perfect, smooth, yet not gummy mashed potatoes. So here we go. Look at that. Perfect. Dinner is ready. Let me show you what the stuffed peppers look like. So good. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good in here. My friends, this turned out absolutely phenomenal. Really, really good recipe. I highly recommend it. I will link the full written ingredients down below in the description box as always. So hearty, so delicious. This is a great recipe for a cold winter day. Give this one a try. You guys are going to love it. I promise. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.